My name is Stacy Fish and I am a digital learning coach here in Henderson County. Today we are at South Middle School recognizing Casey Heffington as our e-learning leader of the month. Casey is a fabulous social studies teacher here at South and has spent a lot of time honing in his craft on how to best teach students how to use claim, evidence, and reasoning. So congratulations Casey Heffington as our e-learning leader of the month. Hey, my name is Casey Heffington. I am a uh, middle school social studies teacher here at South Middle School uh, in seventh grade. Uh, so I've been teaching for seven years here at South Middle School. Um, my undergrad was in social studies secondary education mm -hmm. and then my master's is in technology integration P through 12. So very familiar with technology and utilizing it to uh, better my students. So the CER is what I'm being highlighted for today. The CER is a writing process that we utilize in social studies. Uh, it stands for Claim, Evidence, and Reasoning. And what it does is it allows students to make claim-based arguments. Um, what we're trying to teach students here is uh, part of civics. You know, when they leave the social studies classroom and they enter the real world um, past, you know, once they leave our doors at Henderson County High School, they need to be prepared to be um, a, a member of society, part of society, part of our democracy, part of what we do. And part of that is having intelligent conversations with others. Um, and so the CER process is actually a process designed to make claim-based arguments for them to make a stand based on evidence um, and then support that with reasoning. So that's what the process is and that's how I utilize it. This journey started um, about two years ago uh, with a partnership with Miss Amy Keelan at the high school. And the challenge was the, the state uh, was challenging social studies teachers to really revamp what we were doing, you know, get past just the names and dates and facts and really start equipping our students with skills, lifelong skills that they can utilize uh, at high school level, at post-secondary, in their real world jobs one day. Um, and so that's where this whole collaboration started was with, with her help, but also with the state's help of changing the way that we teach. And as far as student success, there's been a lot of student success. I mean, students are gravitating towards this method of learning and really, you know, having success. It's not just about memorization anymore. Mm -hmm. It's not what you can remember. Now it's how can I prove that I'm right? And students love engaging in that debate. I mean, it can be something as simple as, you know, are dogs better than cats? And you can have two students going back and forth and they don't know that they're actually part of the learning process. Uh, you can kind of disguise it that way. Um, obviously with social studies I can make it more specific to my content, but just kind of bridging that gap, you know, you can talk about basketball players, who's better than who, uh, you can talk about foods, which is the best food, and so it just is a way for them to make arguments uh, based on claims and using evidence. So as far as CERs and technology, um, technology is an integral part of the CER process because a lot of what I do with CERs is they are looking at documents a lot of times or sources. Sometimes those sources could be a song, it could be a dance, it could be you know a textual source, it could be a map, a chart, and so being having access to all of those resources and what technology allows me to do to gather those resources. I mean, I can send my students into virtual museums. They can see firsthand, you know, real primary source artifacts, um, statues, uh, manuscripts, I mean, real hard evidence stuff and analyze that, interpret it, and look for what evidence applies best to their claim. So technology definitely plays an integral part of what makes CER successful in my classroom. So congratulations, Casey Heffington, as our e-learning leader of the month.